Excuse me, are you a suspension doctor? <laughs> yes, <laughs> I am. <laughs> So we are at Hamsley with Steve <laughs> and we're doing the suspension settings with this uh, telemetry thing. So what you actually, oh, I can't ask you anything, you got something. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing Steve? Fitting a telemetry kit telemetry. so we can turn suspension movements and braking and various other things in the data mm -hmm. and then we can see how you're riding how your bike's set up etc etc so that should really help me it should help me to ride faster and smoother is that right yeah and should also tell her where you're braking in the middle of the corner yeah so it will shout at me when i'm brake to stop I'll shout at you when you're <laughs> <laughs> so there's four sensors there's hang on i can't see it Brake sensor. See it. Here's the brake sensor. Then we got this crazy fork thing. <laughs> what is it called? Position sensor. What? Uh, suspension position sensor. Suspension position sensor. And then we got a shock sensor thing. Some serious kit, Steve. Indeed. <laughs> Fun. Can you say how much it's worth? Uh, I think it was... On the camera. <laughs> about two grand, Nelly. Yeah? Two grand. Right. It's a lot, but it's a lot of information. So I've done uh, four laps, I think, just on the, f on the top section of the hill. So that's just like a flat corner, a few little chattery bits. And uh, we just do like a basic suspension setup, so it's not like big drops or anything, collecting different data. And we've changed. What did we change? We changed damping. Spring pressure, damping, rebounds much faster, compression is a little bit more open. So everything? I put everything. <laughs> changed everything. And that's only the beginning of all this because this is only. Uh, really easy track at the like at the top there's not even any like proper downhill yet so it's probably gonna take a few days on the downhill bike and then a few other days on the on the enduro bike and we're gonna work together with steve and he will help me to get faster Indeed. Oh, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> so normally you would need just one day and steve would set everything up for you that's enough time to do one bike um I'm sort of like a special customer because Steve just set up his company, this suspension doctor, and um, so he's learning as well some specific things um, with me. So we spend basically more time than, than you would normally do. We've got to analyze the data now. What one is this? There's a lot of things going on. No, you've done six, eh? That's and then pedaling. that's your pedaling. Then you stop pedaling, that's your corner, and then that's your first jump. Oh. That one there is. No. Back brake, so you kind of skid a little bit and then stab your front brake and then you're into the corner. Oh, I shouldn't break that. It'll obviously give you time because you're not braking, but it'll also, because you're not braking, the balance of the bike will be better. So if you're trying to, if you're hovering the back brake a little bit, it's going to upset your suspension balance, your suspension is going to work as well as it normally does. Whereas if you can brake a little bit more before that, It'd be more controlled through it, but carrying a speed, yeah, get more speed out of it because you haven't touched the brake and the suspension. Yeah, well, often if you, you would touch the brake, you wouldn't even know you touched it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, do it all the time. You wouldn't, so then you would see that. And then... But then you, you constantly think about it, and then you can pick up 2.3.4 a second in somewhere where you're dragging your brakes where you don't want to be. So I have done about 10 laps now. I've done about seven laps at the top half. And then I've done like a, sorry. I've done like a couple, like full runs, which that includes the bottom of the bike park, which is like a bit of a downhill. And so 
Steve should have like all the data he needs. He's changed so much, like straight from like the second run, he's been changing uh, basically every setting <laughs> I can on my forks and the shock. So it's pretty impressive and the bike feels really good, <laughs> surprisingly. Yeah, but this, this is amazing. Steve showed me, we like sit down a few times. Uh, he showed me on the computer what it does and because he really knows this place he knows exactly where things are so he can like point it out on the computer on the graph and another cool thing is <laughs> that uh, it shows you where you're breaking so that is pretty cool because it literally pinpoints the places where you shouldn't break and the next run you might be thinking better at that section and not break at all or better so steve <laughs> How would you summarise today? Pretty good, yeah. Getting much closer to a good setup. Uh, sped everything up, softened everything a bit. Um, just a bit more to do now and some fine tweaking, and we'll be done. We'll be done. So we are at Hamsley again with Steve. <laughs> it's like 20 degrees and sunny, a bit different on Monday. What are you doing, Steve? Yeah. Repositioning the sensor. Mm -hmm. Very good. good. <laughs> and it's quiet. Nobody here. Hardly anyone here. I can't believe it. Ideal. <laughs> so second day, I've just done first lap. I thought it's just gonna be a warm up lap, but I actually just went and <laughs> sent it. So we're gonna have a look at the data. It's gonna be much harder. Like, um, like all the graphs will be higher because everything will compress more and I will be I will be pushing harder so we will see what is not connecting. Steve's trying to connect it to the computer. <laughs> it's just it's just like you don't you don't even plug it in, it's just on the Wi-Fi isn't it? It's on the Wi-Fi yeah. It's pretty smart, pretty smart kit. Really handy. So you don't have to have extra yeah. cables. It's just Steve forgot his laptop this morning. So <laughs> how much <laughs> a mistake? <laughs> So he brought like, me a bike, I just didn't bring a laptop. <laughs> <laughs> so at least I had half an hour chat here with, with people. It was nice. Yeah, track is dry, it's sunny, I'm sweating already. Really nice. This is your front suspension. This is your rear suspension. This is GPS speed. So on here you can tell where like the fastest points of the track are. This is the shock sensor in the the unit itself. Mm. Measuring G4, so your maximum shock is 16.1, average is 1.9. If we look back at one of the really early runs, you'd probably have a really much higher average and probably a higher max. Mm -hmm. Because you'll have been blown through the suspension, it'll be too hard or your rebound's too slow, so you're further in the stroke which is giving you more feedback. Yeah. And then all of these are your brake points. Mm. You can see yellow's front brake, orange is both, and the bits of red's just back brake. You can see, obviously, the top section of the track. It's Nobody. pretty open and flat out. Mm. You don't really brake that much. But probably. in the corner. And then, as soon as you hit the fire road, this is where you start braking when it gets steeper. Yeah. And obviously, that's the very end where the, the two where it's really steep into them corners. Yeah. Then you're off the brakes for the tabletop at the very, very bottom. Mm -hmm. And then you're on the brakes in the corner. I have just done a full run of the main line and this is quite interesting. So I felt pretty good and I thought that the bike, like I thought I'm going to come back up here, put in the computer and see that it's all set up really well. And then Steve looked at it and realized it's actually not good at all and realized that I'm, my suspension's uh, really slick, like softer at the back than compared to the front and you're trying to balance it all. And then he found out that basically the difference in uh, temperature today is about, we think about 12, 15 degrees easy because it was like probably like really cold, like five degrees and like wind uh, on Monday. And today it's like 20 degrees, like we stood here in t-shirts. And no the PSI in the forks went up by two PSI. Two PSI. Just by the temperature difference. So this is pretty That's interesting. Just static as well. So your temperature from the friction of the air spring, your temperature will go up during the run. So if you've got 40 in now, 
and you get the bottom of maybe 42, 43, 45. Yeah. Mm. So that is that is pretty interesting. Um, well, the computer says because I wouldn't. I felt pretty good on the bike because, as I said, I've never done any suspension settings, so everything what he does feels <laughs> everything feels better than what he felt before, and I had really good run, and now it should be even better because we basically realised this. <laughs> So if it's rebounding fast enough and you go light over that rock garden, you should be in that like sort of 30, 40 percent, well 40, 50 percent of your travel. That's where it's like so it can react to the bumps and not kill all your speed. Yeah. Whereas if you go in there and you're like 70 or 80 percent, it's just going to bog down. Bog down, yeah. Because it's not, because it's harder basically. Yeah. It's not taking the shock of the rocks mm. out. They just sort of went over it like, yeah. What about on, on the main rock garden when you, like you know when you kind of like you've got like steppy bits. Uh, yeah. It so feels it's like it keeps going instead, instead of, of going dropping into something and stopping and then having to like force it over yeah, the next bit. No, it should it like goes like that. Flow. Yeah, that's what that's what I was about to say. So yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, it's mint. I'm, I'm Even quite though happy with that, that I've basically I lost speed before the rock garden because I yeah. like yeah, you know yeah. where there's like the little lump of uh, dirt. There's like a tree on the left. And I almost went into the tree. Right. Because I had to sort of correct myself. I lost yeah. the speed a bit. So I went slower, mm -hmm. but I still didn't like stop. It yeah. kept going. Right. And then you got the tun tun tun. Okay, <laughs> no, I like that. I like that's good. And I've never. Every time I've been here on a downhill bike, on all my downhill bikes, I would struggle to clear the table. Yeah. At least the first three runs. Then I would clear it for two runs, and then pedaling fast as fuck, <laughs> or trying as like pulling yeah. and everything, and then I would case it again and go home. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, it is really hard. Sweet, it sounds good. This so like, now like... it is it just pops. What it is, right? <laughs> it pops at the right time, and it's calm at the right time. Yeah. If you know what I mean. Yeah. Like. I can't well, say yeah, I can't like say it's poppy or it's this like it's the, it's it's doing it at the right time. Yeah. So it pops me when I need when I want to. Yeah. And it just chills when I yeah. need it. <laughs> What's it like? So, like if so I, if you're jumping the tabletop, what does it feel quite neutral when you do the perfect. jump? You mean balanced? Yeah. Yeah, spot on. I it, was just when and like landed. Does it feel like the back ends? No. Dragging a little bit at all? No. And then in right. It doesn't. I don't think it did. It, it, it was spot on, this run. Sweet. It, and I landed like perfect as well. Mm -hmm. And the effort I put in was exactly the same as before. I didn't, like, I always pedal a bit, obviously, after the routes. Mm -hmm. Or you always pedal back. You always oh, yeah, have to yeah, yeah. do some pedaling. But it, it, you, I would put exactly the same effort and, like, just pop normally. And it surprised me that it's sort of. Yeah, that's what surprised me that with the same effort. <laughs> That I just like pedal normally, like every time, mm. and I pop Carry normally and pull normally. I actually clear it really well. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. what surprised me because I thought with that effort, I'm not gonna clear it. Yeah, and then went because you're not fighting against. You're not trying to pull the bike out of its yeah. suspension. And also it's when I'm pedaling, that's not interesting. When I pedal the bike, that doesn't really weirdly go down. down. It's like so before the tabletop I, I pedal and it like pedals really well. That, that, that bike pedals mint. I don't, I don't know how they've fucking done that with 215 mil travel. <laughs> I don't know. It, it pedals really well. Like it feels like it's, it's, it, like as soon it, as you put power in the cranks you can feel it in the back wheel. Hmm. Like you can feel the power, but it you can feel the acceleration. It's, it's like really weird how, how, how smooth, uh, soft and smooth it is when I need it to be and yeah, then when I, when I pedal I, all the power I was pedaling in, I felt like on the road bike, it was going forward. Yeah. It did not go down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. really weird. And that's, that's what I mean. It's but that's why weird. I can pedal it even uphill. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's weird, <laughs> but I've just pedaled on the bottom of the hill all you the way. You want to get yourself a fucking 12 speed cassette on there, like. <laughs> <laughs> Got the stiff and see give you a 12 speed fucking set up. <laughs> oh my god. Gonna get eagle on it. <laughs>
How close do you think we are? Like, is this pretty, pretty spot on, isn't it? Nearly there, I. I mean, you, it, it's fairly balanced, but you just, you need to use more travel, basically, and be okay. deeper in your travel. Because the average is 22, 23, and your max is like 85. So you want these, especially if you've had a big hit but on before, Yeah. you want your, your, your max is a bit higher and your average is a bit higher. But because the balance, once you start taking compression off, you're going to see both of them creep up. Mm. If you turn your, it'll be pushing out of the travel anyway at this setting. Yeah. Um, yeah. Whereas on a little chattery track, you could probably open up more because you're not going as deep in your travel. Yeah. Your rebound's slower further mm -hmm. out, so you can speed your rebound up to get that. To get it. To get that. Track, yeah. Like tracking over the channel. Yeah. Mm. I think I'm starting to understand it a bit. Like two percent of your knowledge. <laughs> Steve's not fixing my bike as well. <laughs> my personal mechanic. Suspension doctor and mechanic. <laughs> um, that's your last run. This is all your braking that comes down the bottom. It's the easy you need to work on for middle. It's the hover when on I'm the brake. Yeah, you keep off them. <laughs> it might tidy up this a little bit as well. Because you might be hovering on the brakes a bit there before mm -hmm. you actually pull both of mm them. -hmm. Um, we did play with the levers, which I think yeah. helped. It might be another thing to think about for yeah. me to, to um, do something with the levers. Your shock average hasn't changed that much, but it's now a lot more active. Yeah. So the reason it was that high is because your rebound speeds were that slow. Yeah. That you, it was Level. sucking down and yeah, like mm -hmm. your average position was further down because yeah. you were riding low in your travel because it wasn't recovering fast enough. Mm -hmm. What's the result, Steve? The results are the bike's much more balanced. I'm uh, happy. Anyway. I'm really happy. It's really <laughs> we're happy. <well> happy. <laughs> so we're happy, you can go home. Basically the bike is mint. It's fast as fuck. It's really balanced. <laughs> it works. Everything works. And I'm really fast. That's what we're aiming for. Like. And then That's the And we the did a wander around where Steve went behind me, so Yeah. That was a wild run. I'll show you. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Fucking crazy. Fuck, yeah. <laughs> you fucking kill us? Fuck. That's pretty good, eh? Bit of a 50-50 run that. That was like... <laughs> I was on the edge of falling off quite a few times. Just, probably not being warm, but... That was fucking fast, that. That feels fucking good, that. You're fucking flying there. It was good, wasn't it? No, it's mint. This is fantastic. This, this piece of kit. So, yeah, get booked on. <laughs> <laughs> he changed everything and I learned a lot so now I know how to set it for different tracks hopefully that will really help me when I'm traveling and racing nationals all over the country on different tracks and different weather conditions so I should be able to set up my suspension without the kit myself just by learning last two days about all this 
so that was really helpful. And the whole bike feels really planted, really fast, and I'm saving energy everywhere. It just does what it needs to do at the right time. So it pops when I need it to pop, and it's just like planted when I need it to be planted. So it feels really good. So I'm, I'm so stoked with this. I never spent any time doing any suspension, and now I feel like I should have done it way earlier, <laughs> as everybody was telling me all the time. <laughs> So anyway, go and get booked with Suspension Doctor. <laughs> Steve's just writing me a nice card with all the settings. On his business card. Very smart. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the end. <laughs>